वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थ्रू आउट दी वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न सो मैनी न्यू थिंग्स सो वॉच दीडियो फ्रॉम दी स्टार्टिंग टिल दी एंड सो लेट्स बिगिन the first topic of today's video is inserting special character now what is the meaning of a special character a special character means the characters which are not found on the standard keyboard okay for example here i have inserted some uh, characters such as uh, dollar and then other so many things 1 upon 4 1 upon 2 alpha beta these all types of characters if you want to insert then what to do so first thing is place the cursor in your document where you want to insert a special character thereafter click on the insert menu now before i proceed further what i want to tell you one thing and that is watch the video from the starting to the end this video is going to be very interesting and so many new things which could be asked in the practicals and which each and every person using computer should know are taught in this chapter fine so we come to the topic place the cursor where you want to insert the special character then go to the insert menu and from insert menu select special character so special character dialog box will open now from here you have to select the character which you want to insert now here so many characters are given just have a look at the characters numerous characters are given here okay so you will have to find the character which you want to insert next step next step is you have to give a single click on the character as soon as you give a single click what will happen that here in the bottom part of this dialog box that character will be displayed okay and if i click okay it will be inserted now suppose if you want to insert few more characters then you have to give a single click on each character and then click okay so those many characters will get inserted another thing is suppose by after just selecting the character if you press the enter key or i give a double click here then that character will get inserted and after that the dialog box will get closed so you have to choose which technique to be used now another thing here is here this is a type of uh, serif characters but if you want to insert uh, bengali characters bengali characters right then that also you get from this option if you want to insert uh, gujarati characters then all the alphabets you will get from here so from here you can select which uh, type of font you want to use and from here you can even select the sub category or subset for example devnagari lipi then that could be selected and the character could be inserted now the second topic for today's video is formatting paragraphs now first of all i will select this paragraph and uh, copy it for three times copy and paste it for three times thereafter i will uh, make the changes in the format of each paragraph and explain you the thing so how to select the paragraph clicking four times 1 2 3 4 so the paragraph got selected now right click and copy or control c whatever you uh, feel better i come here and i paste this paragraph once again i paste this paragraph so here i get this paragraph four four times the same paragraph is repeated for four times now the first thing which i am going to teach you is simple and then i am going to go to complex which you do not know at all fine now first thing very simple thing is 
to change the alignment of the paragraph here is given the alignment tab so by default it is left aligned so from here this border is existed left hand side border while this border is not existed now the second type of alignment is center alignment so the alignment will change to center it will get aligned to center then third one is aligned towards right generally when we are typing a letter okay then our address we type it on the right hand side we can use this facility of right align and last one is justify now by clicking here on this last toolbar that is justify the paragraph will align get aligned from both the sides right hand side as well as left hand side so this were the normal things which you all knew now something new i am teaching you first i select all the four paragraphs okay after selecting it i give a right click and uh, then i select the paragraph option so paragraph dialog box will open now here the first thing is setting the indentation means if i want to leave any space on the left hand side or right hand side before or after the paragraph then that i could set from here that i am not going to set just now then specially for one line also i can set another thing above and uh, below the paragraph if i want to leave space i can specify it in points i keep 12 12 okay before and after and uh, then i click okay now just see now the paragraph looks decent because there is space before and after the paragraph fine now i will come to the indentation i select this paragraph the shortcut key of indentation is given here you can adjust the indent indent means space before the paragraph i click one so here this much space will be left so this is setting the indent fine now we come to first line indent for that i select the paragraph last paragraph i go to paragraph option and uh, then i select first line indent then only first line will start after a few points just see okay the point is very less so it didn't show you much uh, difference i will increase that thing now first line okay i keep the indent 22 so here you can see this thing fine now the formatting which you can see in the printed material for example your textbook okay that could be existed from here that is the spacing between the line line spacing it's single by default you can make it 1.5 which will give a very decent looks right and readability will increase so this all things could be existed from the paragraph dialog box now i select this paragraph right click and uh, paragraph fine now there are different tabs given here for example alignment text flow which is not there in the course so i am not teaching tabs drop cap this i would like to explain you just now drop cap and background now if i want to fill light blue color in the background i can select it uh, from here and click okay so that paragraph will have this color in the background fine now i come to the first paragraph now i select the first character then i go to the paragraph menu and i select drop cap display display drop cap okay uh number of lines 3 number of characters 1 and okay so you can see like the olden books the first character will be displayed in bigger size covering three lines so this was uh, something about the paragraph there are so many sub options but at present this much uh, knowledge is enough for you people now the topic uh, which we are going to learn is numbered and bullets bulleted lists <clears throat> now you all are familiar with uh, list fine suppose i want to create a list of uh, students then i have to type the names after typing a name i have to press the enter key 
okay thereafter i have to select this uh, names and then here is the toolbar to insert the numbering so i click here so the numbering will get inserted another technique of creating the list is i have to type one then i have to press the tab key and then i have to type the name now the numbers will come on its own so both the ways you can create a numbered list now another thing uh, regarding numbered list is for example if you want to leave space in between these two things then you can adjust the space from here you can see the space between the names and the numbers could be existed from here another thing is if you want to create a list of children studying in specific class that is you want to add roll numbers and if the roll number is starting from 9401 then how to change the sequence so for that you have to give a right click here and after giving the right click from here you have to select uh, numbering and uh, bullets so this dialog box will open remember this thing it could be asked in the mcqs also now you have to go to options okay there are six tabs given here bullets numbering type outline graphics position and options so you have to go to options and from here you have to select the starting value for example i want to start from 9401 so i type it here and i click okay so you can see the list will start from that specific number fine now next thing in uh, this thing only is that uh, if you want to give the ranking that is first second and third then how to give i have typed here five names and i want to give first second third fourth fifth for that you have to select this thing go to the same options numbering and bullets okay and from here you have to select this option where is this option given it's given a numbering type from there you have to select roman letters you get both the options capital and small besides you get the other options such as a b c d that is also small and big so that thing you can select from here i click okay so it will display me like this way first second third fourth fifth fine now another thing is uh, that uh, if you want to create the sub list okay for example i could open a new file i type here the names of the country now here i type the name of the country fine so i have typed the names of five different countries now i type the names of the states for example okay so i have typed this many names now these names are belonging to the sub list so how to do that so for that you have to demote one level from here so you can see that this thing will uh, go inside now suppose i want to type the names of the cities now this is again one level down so now you know what to do you select this many cities and click here demote one level remember this word it could be asked in the mcq so like this way at present i have given the levels up to 3 okay this is first level country second level state and third level city you can give this levels up to 10 this is already asked in the mcqs okay you can give up to 10 levels like this way so this was all about uh, this thing numbering now we come to bullets now in place of numbering if i want to give bullets then it's given here so from here i can select 10 give the bullets now in bullets also you get so many varieties 
Suppose if you don't like these dots, then you can select this thing. Suppose if you like the, this shape, then or something else if you want to select, and that also the options are available here. For example, I like this shape, blue color bullets, and that I can select and click OK. So this was all about creating numbered and bullet. So we end up this video over here, and we meet in the next video. If you have liked the video, please hit the like button thank you goodbye